Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I'm going to go over my top pins of all time, uh, top five. I had a request to do this, they didn't specify a number, so I'm going with five. Three was too hard, one is impossible, and uh, five was difficult as well, so we have some runner-ups. Um, so let's go ahead and go over those. First up, this is a pretty new acquisition actually, um, I don't know if I've shown this off on the channel yet. This is the Natuno 1911 um, Black Sands. So Natuno is a relatively new uh, fountain pen company, and I was over at Truffe Inc. Um, this is in Greenville, South Carolina. They're fairly somewhat close-ish to me, and I saw this in person. I've been looking at Natuno pens, but the price seemed a little high, and it is for a steel nib. But I've got to say, one, the nib on this writes really, really well, especially after I smoothed it out a bit. And this pen is just absolutely gorgeous. The The finishing on it is fantastic. All the little details on it are just, wow, you know. It's it's just, that's kind of what you're paying for, really. Um, fit and finish and details, and they are excellent on this pen. It's a decently sized pen, too. Um, it's not too small for me, which is nice. It's It's somewhat tiny, but it's not too bad. And one of my favorite little touches about it is the engraving right here in the body. It's very vintage, um, very old school. I really, really like the little that little detail there. You can see a little bit better. Awesome, fantastic pen. This will definitely be in the top five of 2019, which will be coming up in December. But that one's definitely going to make it. Next up, this one means a lot to me sentimentally, but I don't use it all that much. I'm a little bit scared to, honestly. <laughs> This is the uh, Kaveco All Sport um, collaboration with Bung Box, uh, the June Bride Something Blue. You've seen this on my channel before. You've seen this ink before on my channel. And it's a really, really good small fountain pen. Um, it comes up to a very usable length when it's capped. And I love the gold trim. The colors on this are just perfect. Um, they really, really are. Uh, the pen means a lot to me sentimentally as well, but it's just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pen. And the, um, Aluminum version of the Caveco Sport is really, really nice feeling in the hand. Okay, last run up here. Um, I knew there had to be a Twisby on the list. It didn't quite make it into the top five. But this one has grown on me a lot. Um, I really like the base model 580. This is the Twisby 580 ALR. Um, the normal AL, I, I love it. I still have one. But this one with the uh, grooving right here in the grip section, which looks like it's making my camera go crazy. Uh, it also is grooving here. It's it's really, really nice. It adds a little bit of extra grip to it. Not that the aluminum was slippery before, but it gives you a little bit more purchase on it. And the pen's just, it's an excellent all-around pen. For under $100, this is probably one of the best pens you can get, period. All right. Let's go ahead and go on to the actual top five. These, um, they don't necessarily have an order. I'm just going to do them in pricing order. So from least expensive to most expensive, that is not necessarily the order that I uh, prefer them in, but I can't organize them any more than just giving you five of them. So we will go ahead and start off with, I, I believe this is the cheapest. These three are going to be kind of, mm, the, the waters are going to be a bit muddied. You know what? Actually, let's just, let's, we'll start with this one here. Because this version isn't the cheapest, but the uh, the base pen is the cheapest out of the five. This is the Keras Customs Monsoon Decograph. Um, I love Art Deco. I love the design language, um, the clip, the the colors are awesome on this. The pen size is just about perfect. It's long enough to where I don't care about it being too short. Uh, the grip section is really, really nice. It has a fantastic titanium nib on it. I love using this pen, and it's just an absolute pleasure to write with. If I have to write long term, this is probably the one I'm going to go with nine times out of ten. It's just it's just an amazing, amazing pen. Um, I really wish they would start making the Decograph in aluminum regularly. Nothing against the resin versions. I haven't actually tried them, but this one just... It has that mixture of feeling sturdy and feeling very, very high-end. 
it's it's really really good. I think the base price for this pin was like one twenty or one thirty. Um, for that price, it's it's really really good. Fantastic fantastic pin. I have a few nitpicks with it, but excellent. Next up, the Lamy two thousand. Um, when you're getting into fountain pens, this is one of the ones that comes up a lot, especially when you're looking at the entry level gold nibs, and for very very good reason. This is a an absolutely amazing writer. Um, stylistically, there's nothing else out there like it. It's very, very distinctive. It has an awesome piston filling mechanism, and it's just, it's great. Um, apart from that tiny little um, writing issue where it kind of has a sweet spot, I haven't had much of a problem with that. If you rotate your pens a lot, you might. Um, but if you can keep your pen pretty straight, this is amazing to write with. Um, it has a, a nice little ink window here, so you can kind of see your ink levels, and it holds a ton of ink. It's just it's just overall a really really good pen. Um, if you're looking for an entry level gold nib, this is probably going to be the one I'm going to send you to over the next pen I'm going to show. Um, but it's it's just really good. It's just really good. Next up, we have. If I can get it out of this little box here. This is the Pilot Vanishing Point. This was my first gold nib. Um, not the nib in this currently. The nib in this currently is a replacement because I killed the first one. <laughs> not on not on purpose, but um, this is an excellent pen. Again, it's a pretty good size for me. Um, I don't have to worry about being too short, which is a problem with some of my pens. And it's an excellent writer as well but my favorite thing about this pen is that click mechanism not not only because of the novelty of it it's absolutely crazy that you can have a, a click fountain pen that's just insane to me but just the practicality of it um when i am writing generally um, i'm taking a lot of quick notes so for me to be able to you know pick my pen up click it and be writing with it in just a second is fantastic over having to uncap the pen and take my time and do all that it's it sounds like a little step and it is until you're doing it 30 times a day then it gets a little old all right next up is my let me line this up i'm gonna go crazy pelican m805 ocean swirl this pen is awesome <laughs> I was very hesitant when I picked it up, like I am with the next pen, um, just because of the price. But it's it's so good. It's it's a, so the Lamy Two Thousand and the Pilot Vanishing Point are excellent writing pens. They're really really good. Um, however, they're not super attractive or eye catching. This one is an excellent writer and it's eye catching. So that's it's just you know like three four times the price. But it's fantastic. Um, it, sometimes I wish it were a little bit longer, but it's not, again, it's not long enough to really matter to me, or short enough to really matter to me. Um, the nib is still my favorite of all time. It's just, wow, you know? Um, it, it writes so, so well, so well. The little details in this, just the design overall, it's, again, just super unique. Pelican definitely has their very own distinctive styling um, all, all over the pen. You're not going to look at this and, and think it's anything but a Pelican um, if you know fountain pens. And the, the color is just, oh, gosh, it's, it's, it's perfect. I don't think I'd actually change anything about that pen, honestly. Last one here, and um, I believe this is, this is not the newest pen that I bought, but it's, it's close. <laughs> I have a problem. Um, this is the Conid Antwerpen bulk uh, bulk filler. This was a uh, I hesitate to use the word Grail pen, but it kind of was uh, to me for a long time, and I was in the position to purchase it recently over in Europe, and I picked it up. Um, it's excellent. I don't have any real issues with it apart from the price. The finishing on it, which if you watch my reviews, I don't really pick at quite a bit. Uh, the finishing on this pen is absolutely perfect. And it should be at this price. Um, 
but it's 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 great. Um, when I heard it was a steel nib at the base level, I was very very hesitant. However, it may actually be smoother than my Pelican. I need to do further testing on that, but we'll see. I'm gonna swap that nib out though with a nice titanium nib, um, just to help match the rest of the hardware a little bit more. You'll see the the silver is a lot more lustrous and and bright. Um, a titanium nib like on the Decagraph, if I can get it here, um, would match much much better. Uh, hardware wise as you can see it's kind of that darker gray a little more matte so I, I plan on picking one of those up I may just swap over the nib from the Decagraph it's it's a really really good nib um, I need to use this pen a lot more but just from my you know the couple of uh, weeks that I have been using it consistently it's 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 awesome you know again it's it's a pretty good size for me which it, it better be um, it's a great awesome rider has a, a good ink capacity I'm still getting used to the filling mechanism which is odd to me I'm used to picking up things very very quickly um, however this is a bit more fiddly than I uh, would have thought it's it's weird I'll go over it in the full review for sure and um, that's gonna be a long one probably but this this pen's excellent overall once it has ink in it and you're actually writing with it it's it's amazing so just to summarize and again, this is in no particular order. We have the Keras Custom. I'm not, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's early. The um, Conid Antwerpen Bulk Filler. The Pelican M805 uh, Ocean Swirl. The Pilot Vanishing Point. I'm going to have to move these up more because I don't have enough screen space. The Lamy 2000. And the Keras Customs Decagraph Monsoon. So these pens are all pens that I, I really, really enjoy using. I don't have any problems picking these up and writing with them at any point. They're all very good, consistent, reliable writers. They all work and appeal to me stylistically, um, especially these three. <laughs> um, not to say these two are ugly by any means, or I wouldn't have picked them up, but there's there's a nice mixture of of kind of work and play here, and I, I really, really like all the pens on the table here, including the runner-ups. Those are fantastic pens, and I have a lot more in my collection that I, I, I still use consistently, um, but these are the ones that between functionality sentimentality and appearance um, are my favorites if you have any questions about any of these you know or any of the other pens in my collection uh, let me know and again the top five pens of 2019 will be coming up um, a lot sooner than <laughs> than I would like because it's December already pretty much um, we're at the end of November I'm just gonna upload this the day I shoot it so it'll be the 27th but um, yeah that'll be coming um, along with the uh, top five inks of the year. I've bought so much ink this year. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I would stop, but I didn't. Um, I bought more, many, many more inks than pens um, this year. And the, the top five knives as well. Um, there may be a top five watches this year. Hint, hint. Um, but yeah. If you guys have any questions about anything, if there's any videos that you would like to see, um, just request them. You know, if they're feasible, I'll be I'll be sure to do them. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate. And I'll see you later. Bye.